I was born and raised in Long Island, New York. Um, I moved out of there when I was around 14, moved to South Florida, uh, Fort Lauderdale area. Um, graduated high school there, uh, really got into bass fishing uh, down there in Florida. Uh, became a policeman in 92. Um, I worked just outside of Miami um, from 92 to 95. Um, I moved back up to Fort Lauderdale and worked for the Broward County Sheriff's Office from 95 until 2003. So we had a family reunion in 1998 and we decided to pick Dollywood. That was halfway between Long Island and Fort Lauderdale. So we all kind of met in the middle. So we loved the area. So a few years later, we all decided it was time to leave South Florida and move to a better place. And I came, I found Bristol. So uh, Chief Eddie Wampler, who was the chief at the time, uh, hired me and I've been here for 20 years. Well, I've been on patrol. Um, I got um, put into community policing. I was the first downtown officer back in 2009. Uh, my job there was to just walk downtown and meet and greet all the people and business owners and stuff. And, and that was a good job, probably one of the best jobs I've had because I like to talk to people. So, um, uh, so that was interesting. And then um, in 2013, I got promoted to sergeant and was uh, moved to communications. So um, my boss was, um, she was the 911 director and then she had two policemen in there as her backup supervisor. So um, I stayed there. Well, in 2017, I got promoted again to lieutenant and stayed in, in communications. So communications was a little different than being on, on the streets or doing anything else. But um, I learned a lot from being on the other side of that radio, uh, looking at it from a dispatcher's point of view and what they go through because they, you know, with the phones ringing and dealing with the fire department, the police department, I mean, it gets pretty busy. So it was nice to, to give them an insight of what it's like on the patrol. So they, if there's any questions, you know, I, it was easier to, you know, help them out to understand it. So um, I was on uh, the SWAT team for 16 years. Um, I recently uh, left the SWAT team about two years ago. Um, I was an operator and a sniper. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that type of tactical work. Um, I am a uh, firearms instructor for the department, so every, every year uh, we have to qualify. So I'm one of the instructors that, uh, that helps with that. Well, my current role is one of the lieutenants in support services unit. So my job is pretty much the quartermaster um, for the equipment. If you need any equipment or um, I'll be in charge of the vehicles. I have animal control and I have evidence. So um, if, if we have a new hire that comes in, I have to outfit them with all their equipment. Then, that's my job to, to make sure everybody in the department has what they need. Um, uh, issue weapons, uh, you know, animal control. We, you know, that that's busy. That's a busy job there. If we have a lot of uh, calls with animal control, so uh, that's part of my duties is to oversee that that division as well. You know, I do a lot of purchasing in, in our system. You know, when I need to order new supplies, uh, new equipment. Um, you know, usually the patrol captain or my captain will, hey, we need to order this or order that. Um, our division is also in charge of all the stuff getting ready for the race. So we have to make sure all the equipment down at our garage off of X side is, is ready to go. Everything's fueled up. Um, all the equipment's ready um, for it to be used for the race weekend. If I see some, like a new toy or, or something new that another agency may be using, I'll get the information on it. I'll run it up the flagpole and see if that would be something that our department would be interested in. Um, whether it's a new type of uniform, a new piece of equipment, whether it's a baton or different pepper spray or a taser or something, you know, just to make everybody's job a little easier. You know, um, I don't believe in sticking with what you have if there's something maybe new or better out there. In the 31 years I've been in law enforcement, it, it's changed a lot. Um, you know, just leaving Florida in 2003, coming here, it was a big difference because Florida was a little bit ahead of Tennessee when I got here. But now, it, it, you know, the equipment that we have, um, the new technology that's coming out, I believe it, it, it's a lot easier being a policeman now than it was back in the day when you had to write everything. Everything's on the computer and everything now. So, um, yeah, this, uh, this agency is going, going pretty good in a good direction. If I'm not wearing this uniform, I'll be in my boat bass fishing.
Um, that's my biggest passion. I've been doing it for 45 years, I guess. I just, I love it a lot. It's my getaway. Um, I got my little girl into fishing. She, she's seven, but she's been fishing since she was about three. So, and, and she actually held the fish and, and I thought she wouldn't want to do that. You know, she'd be running away from it, but uh, she, she took a shine to it. But uh, that, that's my go-to is fishing. Everybody here is just, it's been so nice here for the 20 years I've been here. Um, I just, I just feel like they're just part of me, and my family, you know, and, and I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else other than where I'm at uh, because of the people that work here. The people are very nice. They, they love their policemen, their firemen, their, their first responders. Um, they just love to talk to you. You know, they, they're just very nice to talk with, um, very personable. And, and I believe, you know, a stranger on the street who never met me would give me their shirt if I needed it. I mean, it's just, it's very welcoming here. It's so nice, you know, when, when someone comes to the police lobby and they got a cake or they got cookies or they got just an appreciation or cards that kids in elementary school write and say how much they appreciate us. And, and it just, you know, makes you want to come to work every day just because of that, you know. So it, it's always nice to, to get appreciated.